I could describe myself as the last savage painter left in the wild. And if you think, why would I do that? What does that mean, even vaguely? That's good, because our thinking too easily, too often follows the same repetitive patterns. And what good art does is that it suggests alternative ways of seeing and thinking. I spend a lot of time thinking about audience and the possibilities of painting language. A language in which to describe or give symbolic form to something which otherwise would be difficult to express or articulate in more familiar terms. The Swiss psychologist Carl Jung states that the word symbol being taken to mean the best possible expression for a complex fact not yet clearly apprehended by consciousness. A symbol is different from a sign. A sign has a very specific meaning, whereas a symbol is more ambiguous. It can incorporate more unknown things or provide a focus for a collection of beliefs or ideas. Symbols are what religions throughout the world use. Now, there is a paradox in the life of a painter such as I am. And this is, despite the sophisticated tradition I work in and the knowledge I have accrued over 30 years, I still work on the edge of what I know frequently encountering that which I do not know or really understand. Now some days are easier than others, but often I'm stumbling around in the jungles of my mind and, con and the continuous stream of media images and sounds. The dense jungle obscures a clear overall view of what I am doing, and so I am working at times by sense of touch and smell. Occasionally there are clearings in the jungle which give me a brief glimpse give me a chance to get my overall bearings. And this jungle too can be a hostile place, but at the same time it is filled with wonders, soaked in colours and forms, and these colours and forms are directly connected to energies and emotions. Now you might ask yourself, why do I do that? Why would I place myself in an environment which is full of frustration and at times even possibly hostile? and which may make very little sense outside of the confines of the studio and the workings of my own mind. But is it the same reason anybody pushes a parameter of what is considered to be possible, what is allowed? Whether that parameter or limitation be physical, mental, technical. Run a faster race, build a bigger bridge, develop a better vaccine, find a species that nobody has ever seen. It's what people do. And my chosen field of engagement is painting and the possibilities of painting to help me understand the workings of my own mind and my environment. It's on the edge of things, at the limits of what I know, where painting for me gets exciting. 